Hi, Sushma. Could you please introduce about yourself? Hi, sir. My name is Sushma. I have uh, three plus years of experience in software testing domain. Uh, thank you, sir, for conducting this uh, mock interviews so mm -hmm. that I can improve my knowledge in software testing. Okay, good. So what is the meaning of uh, API, Sushma? API is nothing but it is a set of rules and protocols uh, which allows different software applications to communicate with each other. Okay, so I'm asking manual testing and AP testing both are same? Uh, no, sir. Manual this testing will this be done. This is what I will tell you. We are testing, we are doing some testing with UI. We are doing some testing with the API. So these two testings yes. are same or not? Uh, no, sir. Could you please tell me the reason? Uh, manual testing will be done with the uh, user interface, sir. Mm -hmm. Whereas while coming to the API, it will be done at the back end, sir, without UI. Okay. And API can be done with the UI also, sir. Okay. Good. How you were validating, how you are confirming in the UI, how you are confirming in the API? In the UI, we are confirming by the, the alerts shown, sir. Uh, whereas coming to the API, we are confirming by the status codes. Why why the API is required in the application, Sushma? Uh, API is required to test uh, different APIs at a time, sir. Whereas coming to the manual, we will be testing single single. So it is a time taking process. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, uh, every company is using API or not? Yes, sir. Nowadays, the API is the running. What is the request body and response body, Sushma? Uh, request body is nothing but um, which we are going to give, sir. That is nothing but if we are going to update anything in the uh, swagger that we are going to get in the response body. The body that we which we are going to get is nothing but response body. Mm -hmm. Whereas coming to the request body, uh, request body is nothing but we are going to fetch the data. Means which data we have given, uh, whether it is uploaded or not, we are going to check in the uh, request body. What is the meaning of response body? Uh, response body is mainly, uh, we can see in the post method, sir. Uh, it is the main body of the uh, only, only source we seeing which we are going body to in the post method. No, sir. We can see the request body also. Okay, so I'm asking only we are able to see response body in post method or remaining methods also we are able to see. Uh, we can see in the post method, sir, a response body and the request body. Whereas coming to the get method, we can see only the request body. We can't okay. see the response body. Okay. How many methods are available in the API system? Uh, there are four methods, sir, at present. Uh, uh, post method, put method, get method, and the delete method. Post method is nothing but we are going to create a new data and upload an image for the data. In the post method, we'll be having two. One is creating a new data and the other one is uploading an image. Whereas coming to the get method, in the get method, we are going to find the data or fetch the data which we have given. Whereas coming to the uh, put method, in the put method, we are going to update the data which we have given in the post method. Whereas coming to the delete method, we are going to delete. What is the difference between web service and API? Uh, web service is nothing but uh, it is a okay cool uh, what is the okay, yeah, okay cool. uh, are you going to tell uh, or you want to skip the question yeah i will say sir yeah. actually i want to recollect that's why yeah. i have taken some time no problem good so what is the difference between okay. swagger and postman Shishma? Swagger is a predefined uh, tool, sir. Whereas coming to the Postman is an open source tool. 
we can work the swagger work in the postman but we can't work the postman work in the swagger that is the main difference uh, between the swagger and the postman okay like uh, are you able to uh, are you able to create a workspace in the swagger or not uh, no sir we can't create workspace in the swagger may know what is the reason why we are not creating the workspace uh, in the uh, in the swagger only we can update the data and uh, the data which we have updated we can see only by the uh, access that is the authorization whereas coming to the postman we can uh, create a separate uh, workspace and we can create the separate collections mm -hmm. and we can run all the different apis at the time okay like which one is better for doing the more negative testing uh, so, uh, postman sir why why not the swagger in the swagger uh, we have uh, uh, limited options sir, for mm -hmm. doing the negative testing mm -hmm. whereas coming to the postman we can do number of negative testings why because in the postman we will be having the url and we'll be having the methods and we'll be having the uh, input values that is nothing but according to the method which are the inputs we are going to give so based on this all we can do different types of negative testing okay good so like uh, how we will confirm that api is executed how we will confirm sweta sushma uh, api is executed or not in which methods are postman or swagger what i am asking how you are confirm this api is executed how you will confirm okay sir uh, by running the uh, collections or by running the method we can confirm or yeah. by the status codes also sir status code how many types of status code do we have sushma uh, we have nearly 10 sir i i don't remember exactly but i know the method uh, i know the okay, codes cool. sir. why are you getting 409 uh, 409 conflict error sir means if the same data, if the data is given for the two products. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why we are the error was not okay. Uh why why we are getting 400 status code? Uh, 400 uh, we'll get for the bad request. Sir. That is nothing but for the valid credentials. If we are going to give the invalid, then mm -hmm. we'll give the 400, we'll get the 400 status code, sir. Okay. So after execution of the API, after execution of the API, what exactly happening after execution, the data where exactly go, where, where exactly the data will be went? Could you please explain about that? What exactly happened at the backend? Yeah. Uh, uh, after the execution, the data will be stored at the backend, uh, which we can see uh, by the status code, sir. Mm -hmm. And in the response body also we can yeah. see. See, we are getting response body. We are executing the API. We are getting response body. In between, what exactly happening? We are sending, we are getting. So what exactly happening in between sending and response body? The data where exactly do you uh, be The data is sent to the server, server sir. Very good. And from the server, uh, the data is fetched. And from the server, it is sent again back to the API, sir. So, get so that uh, we can, yeah, yeah, you can. So that we can see in the API, sir, okay, whether good. the data is executed or not. Do we have the request body for get method, Sushma? Uh, get method, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, like, with, like, uh, are you sure about? Do we have the request body for the get method? Yes, sir. Okay. So, do we have the request body for the post method? Yes, sir. For the post method, we'll be having request body and the response body also. Okay. Could you please uh, share your screen? I will give one task on the postman. Do you have? I hope you have the postman tool in your mission, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just wait. I will give the access to you. Could you please share your screen? Okay, sir.
प्लीज ओबे द पोस्टमैन या सर सो व्हाट आर द ड्रॉबैक इन द स्वैगर सुषमा मेन वेल uh the main drawback is that we can we cannot do negative mm -hmm. testing uh, okay. more sir when compared to the post okay. tell me what are the drawback in the swagger drawbacks sir what are the drawbacks uh drawbacks means uh, without authorization mm -hmm. uh, in the swagger mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, we can't update the data correctly very good next next to next to drawback sir i next to drawback yes. next to drawback i'm asking one more drawback okay um uh... okay cool what is the difference between global variable and environment variable okay global var uh, environment variable is nothing but uh it is a user defined variable uh that can define the runway of uh, runway of a program on a computer sir it is nothing but environment variable whereas coming to the global variable uh, for a global variable we are going to take particular uh, barrier token sir so for a single particular token we can give global variable whereas coming to the environment variable Uh, when the environments change the global variable does not change sir okay good so now you are opening one collection do you have that get collection yes sir could you please open yes sir this is the get collection sir yeah Could you please run? One time you can run. I will give some tasks. Yes. You can guess here. Yeah. Could you please run? Run the API. Which type of status code we are getting now? Two hundred, sir. Okay, cool. So, okay, very good. You have the URL. In the URL, what is the query parameter and path parameter, Sushma? Ah, uh, the query pattern parameter is nothing but the ah uh, behind the question mark is nothing but query parameter, sir. Okay. Whereas coming to the path parameter, ah mm -hmm. uh, uh, the value which is before the question mark up to the V two mm -hmm. is nothing but this is the path parameter. Mm -hmm. path parameter used to find the resource sir mm -hmm. whereas query parameter is used to sort the resource okay and we can't omit the values in the path parameter sir why because it is a part of a url okay cool so if i am changing the get in the place i am changing the post which type of status codes we are getting sushma 405 sir method not allowed Could you please show to me Yes, sir. Four not five, sir. Method not allowed. Okay, very good. Could you please rechange again? Get you can change to the get. Okay, sir. Now I want to change the. V two in the place. I am changing the V seventeen. Could you please change the V seventeen? Seventeen, sir. Yes. Seven. Seventeen. The which type of status will be again? Ah. Uh, Run. Supported media, sir. One yeah. four one five. Please click on send. So, could you write test case for the uh, response body? So we are getting the four not four. You are changing supported media. Okay, please note this one. Okay, when we are changing the version here, at the time we are getting four not four. Supported yes. media means we are changing the file, unwanted file. We are changing the unwanted file. We are sending the unwanted file. At the time only we are getting the four one five. 
but 414 is we are changing the version the version is v7 version is not available so that's why it will be shown the 404 i hope you understand sushma oh yeah now you can yes, change, you can change to the v2 so with using of this snippet sir i did not yeah could please change to the v2 v7 into v2 you can change okay sir Now, you want to write test case for response status code. Do you know how to write the test case in the yes. postman? Yeah, yes, could you please, could you please write test case for the, the status code 200? With using of these snippets. Uh, by clicking the test, we'll get here snippets. In the snippets, we are going to select the status code 200, sir. Mm -hmm. And we are going to check the test results. Okay. Sorry, oh, yeah, I did not save this, sir. The test results are one by one, sir. Status code is 200. Very good. The test okay. result is... Yes, very good. So you are telling like a status quo, test result. Tell me after execution of the send, which where you want to see, where you want to see the data? Where you want to see, where you will confirm. This everything is about fine. Where you will confirm? After sending the data, sir? Yes, yes. After sending the data, we are going to see in the URL, sir. Okay. In the URL, we are going to check uh, whether it uh, the correct uh, has been taken or not. Okay, good. What I'm asking, after the execution, what you are going to check in the response body? You are, you after, are checking uh, 200 status code response time, right? Yes, yes sir. Right? Body, sir. So, do we have access to uh, share collection to others with using our Swagger or not? Uh, no, sir. Swagger we can't share, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, uh, Sushma. Uh, you are giving good answers. Uh, sometimes you are facing some problem with that. Uh, some little bit, uh, I think in, in your project, you are doing uh, some little bit work on the API. Please focus on the status codes right? because in the APA, when you know the status code, when you know about the entire status code, at the time only you are able to do APA. But okay, I'm good to uh, like I'm happy with your interview. And uh, like, do you have any queries? Are you are going to share anything? Uh, no, sir. I'm okay. Okay. Okay, Jishma, we will get back to you soon. Thank you so much. All the best for your projects.